Which one of these doors are you drawn to the most? And whichever one you're drawn to, this reading is for you. If you're drawn to this door, this is your reading. If you're drawn to this door, the reading is already posted. So go to my page. Okay, let's see what messages are coming through for you. Oh, okay, so we've got square, semi-square opposition. So there's a lot of tension straight out of the gate here for you. So you may be feeling quite tense. You may be feeling angry even. You could have recently had an argument or you could be butting heads with someone. Like you're just not seeing eye to eye. But then there's also this element of being attracted. It's like two magnets being attracted to each other but then also repelling each other at the same time. Which is quite interesting. Then we've got Uranus change, which is Aquarian energy here. So maybe things have just happened very quickly. Maybe there was an argument, or maybe you two were drawn to each other in a very intense but unexpected way. There's something shocking about this, I feel. Like, you either weren't expecting this to happen, or, I don't know, maybe even other people are shocked by this in some way. Now this may be about communication as well, like you weren't expecting them to say something, you, they weren't expecting you to say something, it just feels like it's kind of all over the place, things are being shaken up here in a big way. So with Venus energy here, this represents love and beauty and relationships, so which is interesting that it's right beneath all of this tension, so it may be that there's all of this tension brewing up because there are so many feelings involved. Okay, so this may be something that you're aware of here. But there's a lot of this intensity, there's a lot of this strong attraction, but then it does seem to be yet yeah, causing some kind of issue. It's like you can't share it in some way, you can't express your true feelings, you can't express what you really feel. Okay, it feels like you're keeping it all in, and you may both be keeping it all in, and then you know what happens when you bottle things up, and eventually it explodes and it may be that this is the explosion that's either happened or this may be a pre-warning that an explosion is about to happen okay especially with all of this bottling up keeping things quiet keeping things very private could even be some kind of secret connection and then we've got gemini cross pollinate so there may even be more than one person involved here it could be third party energy this could be trying to make a decision between you and someone else, or you trying to make a decision between them and someone else. Or maybe just whether you should be together or not. Gemini is very flip-floppy. It's mutable air, so it's very, very changeable, very flexible. So I do feel you are being guided to be very adaptable and to just take each day as it comes, because this situation feels like it could change by the minute, okay? It's very, very all over the place, very fluid. Choose the path of these resistance, I feel is advice, advice coming through for you on this. Okay, then we've got the sixth house, sustainability, Virgo, and the number 44, which you may be seeing in synchronicity a lot at the moment. But there's a need for stability. There is a need to ground yourself here, because I feel like you've been overthinking this. I feel like you've been thinking a lot about this, and I feel like this other person has been as well. Like, you both are weighing heavily on each other's minds, but both of you feel in some way that you either can't be together or you can't express yourselves fully at this moment. So you are being guided to meditate on this, to find some peace within the now, to find some peace within the situation, whatever's happening between you. If you've had an argument, take time away to meditate and self-reflect. Okay, if you feel like you can't be together for whatever the obstacle may be, meditate okay take some time to be focused on the present moment again to go with the flow of this i don't feel like this connection can really be planned out and i mean i guess no connection really can be because you have free will as well as this person has free will and so many other factors can come through and interfere but can also help you to come together okay it does feel like it's going to be quite tough in a way knight of cups yeah, this person really, really cares about you, okay? They have deep emotional feelings. So again, this makes sense why there is this tension, okay? Because I feel like they care so much about the relationship. They really do. They care in their heart, but they also care to make effort here. I feel like it will take a lot of work on both of your parts to be able to 
rejoin each other or to come together back in peace and harmony. You're both going to have to put in the time and the effort. Okay, I just had a card fly out here. Let's see what this is. Page of Pentacles. Okay. This person may be a little bit younger than you. I'm definitely picking up some younger energy here. Or they may just be quite young at heart. I feel like they are holding back on some kind of offer. Okay, I feel like they maybe want to offer an apology or they may want to offer... I don't know, it feels actually less like an apology than it being a pentacle. If it was cups, I mean, they may want to apologize if they feel they've done something wrong. But they may actually start off an apology with something practical, something material. Okay, or making a plan, something that's more solid. And I feel like this is what they really want to offer you, but they also feel restricted in being able to offer that to you at this time. I do feel as well that both of you are focused on your individual goals. I feel like you're both very much focused on your career or on your health. But it's like your minds always wander back to each other, the world. Yeah, this is a cycle that hasn't completed yet. Okay, if at times you're wondering whether this is going to end or whether there is more to come, there definitely is more to come. It does feel like at times you may be going around in circles with each other, but it does feel like the cycle still needs to move forward. It still needs another turn. There seems to be a repetition of things. Maybe there's a re repetition of getting into conflicts or arguments, okay, then going quiet and then trying to fix things. And it just keeps going round and round. I'm just going to get one card of advice on this for you. What is your one card of advice? Bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. So again, more Aquarian energy, which is thinking outside of the box here, okay? And I feel like maybe this is about conflict resolution, thinking of unique ways to resolve things together, thinking of unique things to say in some way. But I feel like it's not necessarily having to think about it, but just being truly authentic to you. Because I feel like you do have that spontaneous, rebellious nature to you, where you do think outside of the box. You are a very innovative and creative person. And I feel like this is about injecting that into this connection, which will help for you to get on the same page, help for you to understand each other, but also to bring that love, to bring the kindness back into the connection, rather than being ice cold or being combative and being able to see, look, what is the end result we both want? Do we want to be together? Do we want to be at peace together? What is it that we want? And then aiming for that, rather than say when you're in the heat of an argument, I mean, it could be difficult. You may be like, I need to win in that moment. But I feel like if you're able to step back, meditate on things, and realize that ultimately you just want to resolve things in a peaceful way. So then by acknowledging that, you'll take action to create that peace in the end. 